YouTube family and friends. How are we today and how have we been? I'm blessed and I hope you are too. So, hello. All right. So today we're going to get it popping with some chicken romaine spaghetti. Yes. All right. I don't know if, uh, how many of you out there are romaine or I like to call them um, ramen noodles, but romaine noodles fans. But I am a top fan of romaine noodles, okay? I mean, I love them. I can think of several ways to fix them and make it into a meal. And it is scrumptiously, trust me, delicious. Yes. All right. So, I'm going to give some shout outs to some of my fans, some of my subscribers. Yes. And I am so happy. I know you guys know I just passed 300 subscribers. And again, I appreciate your support and I thank you so much. All right. So we have a shout out for Mahaktiku. Hello, how you doing? We have Ozan Gungor. Hello. We have Ed K. Hello. We have Shelly Eats. How you doing? We have the H Gang. Hello, how are we doing out there? We have Shauna Line. Hello, how are you doing? We have Omni Omni. All right, hi, how are you doing? We have One Man Adventures. Hello. We also have Blitz with Bites with Bree. Okay. We have Super Baby App One. Hello, we have Sheree Rathar. Hello, how you doing? We have Boy, Bad Boy. Hello. We have Eat with Bree. How you doing? We have Venus Eats. Hello. We have Simple Wife USA. Hello, how you doing? We have Light and Love. Hello, how are you? And we have Jay Sheem be eating, okay? So Jay Sheen be eating is the last on our list for today. And I just want to say thank you all and welcome to my channel. That's Riri's channel. All right. Oh, I'm so happy today. Okay. So I just want to say again, thank you guys for all your support, all your love, and all your comments and all your texts, inspiration, and everything that you give to me. Thank you. Okay? And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right. And if you're just stopping by, please come back and subscribe. Okay. So far, if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay? All right. And I just want to say I got love for all my YouTube subscribers, all my friends and family and thank you very much okay so we're going to get this video started like i said we have some chicken romaine spaghetti and what we need for that is first of all i boil some chicken wings now it's best if you use chicken wings because chicken wings just happen to bring out that flavor okay so i boil some chicken wings with no seasoning just chicken except for one bay leaf and the reason I put one is because you don't want to put too much because you don't want to knock out the onion seasoning and the rest of your seasonings that you're going to put in there and make it taste good so this is like a half of a bay leaf but I use the whole one and basically they come in a can or they come in a little bag okay so I use one of those to boil the chicken okay all right that's it okay this right here is my water for my romaine noodles. And I think we should cut that off. So my chicken is done. So what I need to do with my chicken is I need to put it on a plate. That way it'll be cooling. So we get it all took off the bones. And you want to boil it where it's soft, like sort of fall off the bones. Right here I have seven. 
Mm. The only thing that keeps going through my head is chicken bones and pickle juice. You know, when I was little, me and one of my brothers, that's how we got down after we ate our chicken. Oh my goodness. We just had to dip it into the pickle juice. Let me tell you. And it was the thing to do. So, if you ever try that, it's delicious. Maybe one day I'll, I'll try it for you. But basically, you want to take your meat off the bones. Okay. And... I just kind of do it like this. It makes it a lot easier. Basically, then just kind of pick up the bones, you know. So, what's going on out there? Besides the weather changing and people trying to get sick, I've been praying for you guys too and myself because I do not want to get sick. Let me tell you, no, no, no. And I barely get sick, like maybe once a year, I'll catch a cold or twice, no more than that though. So I thank God for that. Let me tell you. All right. So, we're gonna chop these up right quick. I just kind of hit them on the counter like that, chop them up. I'm going to go on and turn this back on so we can get it popping. All right. So, we're going to go on. Oh, you know what we need? It don't really matter with the ramen noodles, but, or the rain, romaine noodles, but I like to put some salt in my water because my dad taught me that. Because with pasta, it keeps it from sticking and sticking together. So, it's a tip if you didn't know, now you do. But, I'm gonna get that added. And I'm only doing two packs because, of course, it's just me. I might have some more for lunch, but I'm not sure. So, we're just gonna get this going. Okay. Let me see now. Yeah, that's a pretty mid-high, pretty good amount of fire under there. Okay, excuse me one second. Just had to throw that away. And now, I'm going to hurry up and chop up these onions. Oh, I love green onions. I love them in everything. Really, if I could eat them in everything. But you know, in soups and stuff, green onions just make it so good. You know? Hmm. I'm not even trying to cut that. Let's see how this is. Okay. That's much better. Look at that. And like I said, I like a lot of onions. I don't know if I'm going to use all these, but I got them just in case. You know? All right. So, basically, I'm gonna kind of move these around. Let me tell you, this is so fast, they're almost ready. So fast, you know? Just a quick meal. So, need something to throw my bones in. Just start throwing them in there. And these little pieces of the wing, I don't keep those. But now, when I bake chicken, all oh, those little pieces of the wings, I love to bust that part down. Mm. I do. Okay. Let's just get this out of here. And these ends, like what covers the bones on the end. Yeah, I don't care if all that gristle. I'm not a gristle woman. Yeah, I like the meat. All right. So, you know the skin, I know it's kind of sticky. 
But I guess it just actually puts that extra goodness in there, you know, that taste. And if I see some bangs, I always take those out. I'm not a big fan of those either. So. We're getting on down through there, y'all. So, I don't really know a lot that's going on out there. I've been so busy lately uh, with other things. And a couple of people in the family have been feeling well, so. Trying to help them figure it out. Feel better, if you want to say. Ooh. All right. Well, I believe our news is about done. And this is really a good quick meal for kids. If you have kids and you want to hurry up and whip something up, mm. And if your man loves onions and chicken, then it's a, another go with that too, okay? Green light. Let me tell you, he'll love it. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Get on down through there. Yeah, like I said, I don't like them things. And I just kind of feel my way. If I feel some gristle or something, I'll take it out as far as the. Yeah, and I kind of just chop that up in there. So it brings out all that extra flavor you get. We're going to get rid of it. I don't know if you know, but it's, it's totally a, a big different taste. Just like when you fry chicken, you know how you like the crust. And it'd be all good, yeah. But when you boil the chicken, it'd be all soft and, oh. Good. It's, some pieces just melt in your mouth. And it's like, oh, yes. Okay, I believe we got that ready. So, do y'all need a close up? Hmm. Yeah, I think y'all need a close up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> Right now, I still have a little water in there. And then I'm gonna add my chicken water, chicken bouillon water. Okay, just gonna throw that over there. And now, I'm gonna throw the onions in there. You can see the, just how it changes colors after it's cooked. And it's real flexible and soft now. It's not hard anymore. This is all our garbage we took off the chicken. Believe it or not, that looks like an awful lot, don't it? Yes, it does. Okay. So now we're going to rake the chicken in there. And y'all know it don't take no time for uh, green onions to cook. Gonna put that over here. Hold on one sec. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna add our chicken little packages of flavor and bouillon, chicken bouillon seasoning. Gonna put that in there. And we're gonna stir it up. Uh. Oh, and the smell in here mm, mm, mm. is 
amazed and let me tell you. It smells so good. Then we're just gonna add a little bit of our own seasoning. A little seasoning salt. A little black pepper. A little garlic powder. And you guys know I'm a big fan of the garlic powder, so yeah. Now I put the accent salt out here. You don't have to do it, but if you use this salt, you know that it gives pasta and greens and different things a different taste. Uh, like it's real good with uh, cheese macaroni. Yeah. So if you want to put a little pinch, you can. I'm not telling you have to. So I'm just going to put a little pinch because normally. I don't really use it in here. I used it once or twice, so so I'm trying to remember that flavor again. I know it was good, but I don't know if it was good with it all by itself. Okay. So now I'm gonna get me a bowl, and if you want to see what we're working with, this is what it looks like. Don't that look good? Oh my goodness! Looks delicious. So basically, this is what it looks like, okay? And that looks pretty awesome and good. Okay, I'm gonna say grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. What a blessing to you today, Lord, and 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 Lord, Tastes so good. So good. Now you got a meal. Didn't take no time. And you just whipped it up real fast. Mmm. Onions here. Mm. Mm -mm. I could have let it strike a ball and let the onions get a little softer, which usually I would. But I'm just going to show y'all basically how to get it done. Mm. So remember to go on and let it strike a ball with the onions in there. Okay? before you start eating it. Mm. 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 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. Show y'all other ways I make the ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. But this is a cold. Oh, yeah. You know what? If you're getting any type of feeling under the weather right now, this might do you some good. Check it out. Mm hmm. Because, you know, when you're sick, you can drink chicken bouillon or fix your hot toddy with it or something. So this is like chicken soup, actually. It might help you feel better. All right. Y'all know I don't eat a lot, so I'm about done. <laughs> Mm, I'm trying to get this one little piece of chicken. Mm. But this is basically what you look like and taste. I wish I could give you some. Mm. Mm. As you can see, I almost ate it all. Almost. Mm. All right. So, I just want my YouTube family out there and my friends to be sure to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and let me know, you know, if it's something you want me to fix or um, something you want me to change, something you want me to try, um, you know, just let me know, okay? Or if you just want to leave me a comment saying, hi, uh, you enjoyed my meal, you fixed it, you loved it, something, or it wasn't to your taste or measurements, that's fine. Let me know. Okay? All right. So in the meantime, though, I want y'all to keep it popping. Okay? Pop, pop, pop. And I look forward to coming back for you guys, and I look forward to you coming back to see me. Okay? So until then, be blessed, okay? Bye.